think I'm more nervous for this than playing at John Kane in front of 10,000 screaming Melbourne United fans. What, surfing on camera? <laughs> surfing on camera, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of those ones where I feel like when you, it's like you go play tennis or something and you think you're really good, but when you see video of yourself actually playing. Yep. So no anyway, this should be fun. <laughs> it's always good to get out there. Yeah. <laughs> Melbourne v Melbourne. Yeah, who wins, Drewy? Uh, Melbourne United. Shane? Convincingly, double figures. Oh yeah, let's do it. It's going to be a really fun run home to the playoffs. Adnam. Kyle Adnam's able to knock it down. He wants to be a part of it. He's been a part of it. He just loses it when he tries to... Little shimmer dribble. Now it's after the other way. Creek. Adnam doesn't need a second opportunity. He knocks it down. And that's what we've seen from the Phoenix all night. It was seven on the shot clock. It's Adnam. Guarded by Golden. This is going to have to get to work. Float up at them. In the end, too easy. This game you think is done. Southeast Melbourne Phoenix are going to get the win. And as Andrew Gaze mentioned only a couple of minutes ago, going to make it very hard now for that chasing pack to get them out of a playoff spot, which will be their first in franchise history. Well, and if they play with this sort of mentality, they deserve to be in the playoffs. They, as we spoke about before, probably the only team that has a chance to knock off one of the big dogs. Have a look at that next four. Uh, we're down at Urban Surf. Um, it's a beautiful Monday afternoon. It's a little bit chilly. I uh, just came down for have a bit of a recovery session in a surf. I've come down to Urban a few times. Um, when it opened, it was uh, amazing. Me and, the, me and the boys came down and had a session together, which is awesome. And yeah, sometimes if we've got a week long break between games, I can uh, sneak one down here and have a bit of a recovery session. Um, the, water's, the water's good for it at the moment. This is a little uh, chilly epoxy. Um, board, 5.9. It's probably a little bit small for me actually, so I'm a little worried how it'll go, but no, it'll be alright. Get out there. And we're just going to be paddling out either side of the pier. We're not going to be walking out the pier, we're just going to be paddling out today. There's a deep body of water either side of the pier that will act as our rib to get it straight out the back. I definitely like to have fun and um, you know I've got a lot of different things that I enjoy and basketball just happens to be one of those and it is my number one no doubt but um, I think it's really important to have multiple passions and, and different things it, it definitely shows you all different sides of life and I think you know being outdoors is so different to being indoors playing sport um, so I think they really marry up well for me. Yeah, I think the most amazing thing about being in the water is just being in touch with nature a little bit. I know it sounds a bit spiritual, but it's um, it's really cool. I think just getting in the outdoors and, and, you know, sort of getting present and stuff like that. I think we're always go, go, go with basketball. So to have that sort of little escape and, and being outdoors is amazing. And um, yeah, by no means am I Kelly Slater. It's, um, it's just more of a passion and something I really enjoy doing. I'm not thinking about anything else, whether it be sport, whether it be you know, family, friends, whatever it is, um, uni, etc. It's just you're in there and, and you, I don't know, the waves are rolling through and you just got to make your decision and, and go. And it's just, um, you know, that just ability to be present and in the water is amazing. The salt water getting out, you just feel a million dollars afterwards. I try and stay as level headed as I can. I understand there's always going to be ups and downs and kind of take that attitude, never too high, never too low. Um, you know, you've got to find a way to constantly perform and, and be yourself through all the highs and lows, um, winning or losing. And I think stuff like this really helps me keep that balance. Maybe we have a bad loss and I can go get out in the water and, and realize that, you know, we've got a game next week and it's a great time to turn it around and um, also get back on the court, shoot some extra shots, it all, it all comes around. So um, yeah, just trying to, that never too high, never too low attitude, I think is really important. It is absolutely freezing. I'm 
I might go eat. Oh my god, I couldn't move. Still can't. It's good though, it's so fun. You know, one thing I've always tried to hang my hat on um, in the NBL is every year I want to want to get better. And, you know, this year has been a new experience for me. You know, the co-captain stuff and then obviously starting lots of games as well um, with Kiefer being injured. So it's all new experiences. It's things that you, you're going to get throughout your career. And the more of those you get, you know, that's how you keep taking that next step. And, um, you know, for me, it was another step in the road. And I think, um, you know, I only want to go up from here. And as a group, we're, we're in a really good spot. So... Um, we're looking forward to the playoff run and uh, yeah, next year and beyond just continuing to try and get better each year I come back.